Hello! Today's video is special. It's not a skit, it might not be funny, but I feel like we need to make this. Let's have a little recap. On March 17th, 2020, we released a video called The Problem with Online Classes, a video that many of you enjoyed. This, of course, makes us really happy. Then, on April 10th, 2020, a YouTube channel called The Stokes Twins, who has 4 million subscribers, well done, uploads a video called The Problem with Online Classes. Similar title, you may say, but it's a fun topic, so it's understandable that other creators want to do a video about it, right? And that's totally fine. And these guys have 4 million subscribers, so for sure they can create unique and creative content because they are actually talented and they don't just look good, right? <laughs> Good morning everyone, and welcome to this online class. Click present when I call your name. Uh, Jack? Okay. Peter? Okay. Charles? Present. Okay. All right, everyone, welcome to your first day of online class. Now, when I call your name, click the space bar so I know your presence. Uh, Andrew? Lexi? Um, Alan? Very good. I want us to gather to try to grab the knowledge from this class. What did he just say? I want us together to try to grab knowledge from this class. I want us to grab this ass. Huh? Uh, radon is the accumulating the places where ventilation is inadequate, such as uh, in an underground mine, maybe uh, build up inside. Too fast. Okay, moving on to calculating the circumference of the sun. The sun is a star center. Ah, some of these jokes are a little bit similar. It must be a coincidence. No, it's not. Now, they're not the only ones who used our jokes in their videos, but the others who did that clearly mentioned the name Charles the French in their description or at the end of their video. Here, let's read their description. Oh, I don't see the name Charles the French here. Well, thanks for the inspiration with the link to our video. Some sort of credit? Thank you. Now, two things with that. Number one, you know perfectly well that most people do not read the description. Most people watch the video and then go to the comment section. Number two, being inspired by something means that you saw something and thought, oh, this is good. I'm gonna have my own take on this. I'm gonna repeat that. Your own take. Your O W HEN TAKE. Now let's read some comments on our video first. Okay. Okay, these made me aware of the situation. Now let's read comments on the Stokes Twins video. Mm -hmm. All right, some people say copied, they say inspired. Let's say it's heavily inspired, heavily inspired. But you make your own opinion of this. Some other comments on their video. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <coughs> also, the joke that people find the funniest in your video is... I wrote that joke at 4 a.m. in my underwear because I couldn't sleep. You know that feeling when you tell a joke to a friend, he loves it, but he's gonna go repeat it to everybody as if it's his own and everybody will give him credit? Yeah, it feels like that. Yeah, 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 it feels like that, yeah, yeah. Anyways, at first, I didn't want to make this video because, if I'm being honest, after seeing this, Tada and I felt flattered because that means that our creativity appeals to many people. You let me do this, okay? You and you let me do this! So yeah, that means that our creativity appeals to many people. And if anything, it's a good thing that these jokes are being spread and that everybody gets to laugh. Because we all need to laugh. Especially nowadays. But then I saw these comments on our video. <laughs> now, obviously these guys could have just checked the upload dates and immediately realized that it was the other way around. But that's where the problem is. We don't bother checking facts much online. I myself do that. And because they have a lot more followers than us, that means that they will have more people protecting them. So that means they would end up being right, and Tada and I seem like two losers who want to get attention by pointing it out. But no, that's not the case. I'm not making this video to get attention. I just want to set things straight with the people who dared commenting that we copied them. Because that's what hurts. And here is a message for you, the Stokes twins. We feel flattered that we could inspire you, but, 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 if you do it again with other creators, please credit them better because they deserve it. But for our case, now it's too late to credit us. The view's already there, so don't worry about it. The last thing I'll say is that you guys do what you want, but when you have 4 million subscribers, that's 10 times what we got. I personally think 
that it's quite disrespectful to your fans that you don't come up with your own jokes. And that you take the work of smaller creators like us. As creators, we would find it extremely unethical to just take someone's work and reuse it. But in the end, this is how the internet works. You guys are handsome, people are drawn to that, and it's only fair. And in the internet funny video world, there will always be coincidences and jokes, right? Because there are so many of us who make funny videos and our brain is subconsciously inspired by things we've seen or heard. These things happen, but it's always easy to tell the difference between a coincidence, inspiration and plagiarism. Now what's possible and not considered copying is to have an obvious reference to a movie a series, something way bigger that everyone knows. For example, Tom, what is the sixth noble gas? Um, radon? Was an obvious reference to What is the sixth noble gas? Uh, radon? That was a little Easter egg for all the fans of the Big Bang Theory. Some of you caught it? Good job. So that's an obvious reference to something even bigger because that show, The Big Bang Theory, was watched by millions and millions of people. And we've done that a few times, by the way. We put some little Easter eggs in the videos. Sometimes you notice them and that makes me happy that we watch the same movies and series. However, that obvious reference is not what makes the video funny. So it's not what will make you laugh or say that this video is good. But this joke... I want to grab... That is. And here, since we are smaller than you, Stokes twins, Stoll twins, you should change your name to that. It can't be called a reference. In a nutshell, and to answer the question in the title of the video, did the Stokes twins copy us? I would say no. But they were heavily inspired and the crediting was a bit weak. So honestly, I'm not sure what to make of this. I want to tell you both thank you for helping us spread our jokes and also credit better next time. And now a message to our subscribers. Thank you for your support. We'll keep creating and have fun. See you next time.